Greetings to all of you, my dear sisters and brothers and my dear friends. And all of you are welcome to my new broadcasting of the Exalted Christ Day Lenten Devotional. We start our last days in Lenten and we are <clears throat> on our third day of the Holy Week. We are entering in the last words of Jesus Christ. Father, into your hands I commit my spirit. This is your pastor, Yeti. The scriptures reading for today is from 1 Peter, the second chapter, verses 13 and to 15. Submit yourselves for the Lord's sake to every human institution, whether to a king as the one in authority, or to governors as sent by him for the punishment of evildoers and the praise of those who do right. For such is the will of God, that by doing right you may silence the ignorance of foolish men. The signature posture, a posture of every believer is that of submission. Jesus submitted to his Father, and we are to be in submission to Christ. We are also to be in submission to every human institution, except those that operate contrary to biblical teachings. Isn't that what he said? Jesus made it clear when he said, Render to Caesar that which is Caesar's. He knew that those taxes were used to fund unspeakable atrocities. Even so, it was the law and we should obey the law, regardless if we agree with it or not. So, when the scripture states that we are to be in submission to every human institution, it means that we are to be in submission to every human institution. The law is a law, good or bad. And as believers, we are to be role models as law-abiding citizens. There are some laws that are violated on a regular basis. It does not matter if everyone does it. Repeated violence of a law do not nullify a law. We do not have to like the law, but we do have to obey. Once we stop being law-abiding citizens, we cease being effective witnesses for Christ. Satan never sleeps. As we find states in the book of Job, he roams all over the earth. We also know he delights in the downfall of believers. We must realize that if we intentionally break the law or refuse to submit to every human institution, that Satan will see it and use this to weaken our testimony. We also know that he is the accuser of the brothers. If he cannot weaken our testimony, he will at least use our disobedience to accuse us before Christ. Let's review some salient points. Satan roams all over the earth. Satan uses our disobedience to accuse us before Christ and to weaken our testimony before non-believers. Wouldn't it be prudent for us to simply obey the scriptures admonishing us to submit to every human institution? This is not rocket surgery. If we break the law, Satan will ac accuse us before Jesus, our Savior, and weaken our testimony before men, neither of which are good. We do ourselves a big favor by simply obeying the law, regardless of how mundane, regardless if we agree with it or not. All this begs the question, am I a lawbreaker or a law-abiding citizen? You should keep in mind that only one of these pleases God. My dear ones, we know that we are living in a fallen world and righteousness sometimes is far seeking to find real 
and the good judgment and righteousness. But still, there are laws, and every country and every state has its law that we have to obey. So, it is important to stay close to the heart of Jesus. That will prevent us and help us to come every day more and more to the obedience of God. And obedience is showing respect for the one that is saying to us, I am he. I am the one that will be there as long and as long. Blessings to all of you, my dear ones. This is your pastor, Yeti. Bye.